Here's why I like to use Virtual DJ. Newcomers don't have to spend money to familiarize themselves with DJing. It's free to download and use, so anyone can try it out and determine for themselves what they think of DJing. Virtual DJ also happens to be the first and only DJ program I've got experience with personally, and probably the only program I'll ever need to use for the foreseeable future. It's got just about everything that I need to do my job and more. This next thing, I think, is what makes the difference between your roommate with just a laptop calling himself a DJ and someone who actually DJs professionally. If you do pay for a license through Virtual DJ, it grants you access to use professional hardware with it, such as a DJ controller. And right off the bat, it's compatible with a huge range of devices from manufacturers such as Pioneer, Newmark, uh, Hercules, Rain, Tractor, Denon. If you're going to DJ, use a controller so you aren't physically limited by the possibility of carpal tunnel from having to click everything on your mouse pad. It makes DJing way more enjoyable for both you, the DJ, and the audience. Performance pads are highly customizable with many specific commands, as well as other settings within the program, and documentation on the commands can be found on the Virtual DJ website and forums. This gives me a lot of control over my workspace and lets me develop my own familiar relationship with the software and its environment. There are also a lot of community sourced custom plugins that supplement my unique needs. Virtual DJ already has the native option to layer different visual elements for a unique presentation, but the one thing I don't like about it is its inability to shuffle shaders and to customize how often it changes those shaders. Z Video Control is a plugin that lets me shuffle shaders, which I can find plenty of from shadertoy.com and they're free to use. Virtual DJ also has a built-in karaoke system and can play CDGs, but it debatably lacks effective singer rotation management, and as a DJ and KJ, it should make sense that DJing and karaoke should work all in one program, so I don't have to deal with more bitter old software developers with non-existent customer support or bedside manners. Easy KRM is a great plugin that streamlines rotation management, first by using a working queue of song requests, and then automatically filling Virtual DJ's karaoke queue with every unique singer from the working queue, with each singer only appearing once in the rotation. Without this plugin, it's really easy to get sloppy and accidentally queue up the same singer more than once within a round and piss off other people who signed up and haven't sang yet. The nice thing is, the queue still allows you to do that if you intentionally want a particular singer or song in a particular order. Instructions to use Easy KRM in the description. Finally, Virtual DJ's compatibility with Sound Switch's DMX Lite programming lets me put on a really immersive production when I'm gigging. Before, I just put my lights on sound mode, and sure, they did all right responding to sound, but they would just flash randomly. It's pretty tacky and just felt like the lights were flashing at the music rather than with the music. Once I got the programming set up, it's made both karaoke and DJing feel much more like a full-on concert. Songs can be scripted to have specific instructions for lights, and unscripted songs will use what are called auto loops, which still respond in time to the music. Instructions to use sound switch in the description. Now, keep in mind, there are drawbacks with virtual DJ, just as there are pros and cons with other DJ software, or literally anything else in the universe you can have an opinion on. Virtual DJ works well for my application, a mobile and solo DJ and KJ act. It may not work well with festival or specialized clubs where potentially many different DJs need to be able to efficiently integrate their hardware and workflow with more commonly used programs like Serato. Nonetheless, I'm advocating for the use and exploration of Virtual DJ as a legitimate DJ program. Warning, incoming rant slash weird pep talk thingy. This video is basically a shout out to virtual DJ users who use the program professionally. I'm poor as fuck, so I gotta work with what I got or what I can get. I can't afford to be ashamed, I just care about doing my job well. So it's not fair that in the DJ world, virtual DJ is regarded in almost the same vein that FL Studio is to other DAWs, or Windows is to Mac, or Android to iPhone, etc. Just because it's available to more people, professional or otherwise, that doesn't mean the product itself is automatically shit. So don't be a piece of shit corporate fanboy or fangirl blaming it on the tools. Blame it on the tools who don't bother mastering their tools, making the rest of the users look bad. Quit looking for the best and find what's best for you. And don't insult others for using what they decide is best for them. Brand names aren't always a guarantee for utility value. 
Maybe some of you use Serato, some of you use Record Box, Engine DJ, PC DJ, uh, Karma, CompuHost, Windows Media Player. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking kidding. But use whatever the hell works for you and use whatever else will supplement your workflow. Now, if there are options that efficiently include more of what you need with the least amount of add-ons, certainly give it a try. Anyway, I'm losing my voice. I sound like I've been smoking for twice as long as I've been alive, but I really wanted to do this video. People around me have been getting COVID or summer cold or some shit. Go do something good for yourself.